presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials up 101. NASDAQ is up 3. S&Ps are up 9. Gold contract up $1.80, trading at 1324 an ounce. We have silver flat, $16.68 an ounce. Light sweet crude down 16 cents. 71.19 a barrel notes and bonds you get the 10-year note up one tick 119.13 30-year bond up three 143.09 and good old king dollar king dollar down 261 ticks 92.225 the euro is trading at 119 to one u.s dollar yen is out here at 109 to one u.s dollar our phone number is 877-927-6648 give us a call folks Want to know what's going on in your world? Now, let's go over to the world of the good old U.S. dollar. We'll start with that dollar. We take a look at that dollar. What you're going to have is this. Dollar came off the highs yesterday, had juice off the highs, did 34,500 contracts on the way down. Get some follow-through out here today. We are right now at the uh, 92,270. And what that just did, folks, it just got into a nice big bar. So now what's game here is 91,595. So it's going to be intriguing watching uh, how this dollar shakes out um, in the aspect. Yeah, we'll fix those charts for you. In the aspect of the, there we go, um, how this baby is going to trade out, particularly on a Friday. Some of the, uh, if, let's go over to, uh, first off, uh, the NDX 100. Now, um, the leaders inside the NDX 100 today is Regeneron's up 4.3%, Biogen's up 2.2%, Alexa Pharmaceutical's up 1.8%, and you get Vertex Pharmaceutical up 1.8%. Uh, taken away from it. Now, this is one monster hit, man. You talk about getting taken apart in one day. Semantic, okay? Down 32%. You go to bed last night. You, I can't even... Oh, this is, like, so sad when, um, you know, something like this happens for folks that own it. Uh, it is a, a just a monster, meaning that last night this closed at $29. It opens this morning at 20 It's trading 1974. We bring this back, and if you want to see a fast hit, um, fast and furious, uh, bottom line is that uh, this baby, you know, last six months has just gone from 34 to 19 uh, gets taken apart, literally gets taken apart. And what's game out here is uh, going all the way back to 2008 at eight bucks. Uh, the thing is sticking out like a sore thumb. And uh, the high volume low, that is. Now, NVIDIA, this is, this is really wild, folks. So NVIDIA come out with amazing numbers, amazing numbers. Bottom line, great numbers, all of the above, right? What ends up happening? Um, they, when it, so last night, NVIDIA closed at 260. When they first come out with the number, bottom line is that the, 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 uh, the stock backed down to about uh, 255, then it goes up to 260, 250, backs down to 255, goes back up, and then just gives it up. Um, this is really intriguing in the aspect of uh, if you, the, the numbers that they did were way over what they were expecting to do, and this is an indication also that, guess what? We've been topping out for a long period of time. When you get an equity like this that can't basically handle higher price and they blow away numbers, it's pretty intense. And if you want to just look at these numbers, um, from last year to this year on the same quarter, folks, they had done $1.9 billion last year. Now, they were, they were looking to do $2.9 billion, an additional billion year over year. Well, they did $3.2 billion. Uh, monster number. Bottom line, Put a, they put a monster number to the, bar, to the earnings per share number, also 205, couldn't handle it. Big number, big, big number. And NVIDIA, the deal with NVIDIA, and this is what's dangerous about NVIDIA for the NDX 100, is that the NVIDIA took the NDX one up, as did the SMHs. Bottom line, we'll see what kind of um, action we have on the way down, but it's, it's an indication that you get some uh, problems uh, in paradise out here. Verizon. Verizon is up $1.59. We have uh, Trade Desk. Look at that baby. That's up $18. That came out with numbers last night. Uh, now, Trade Desk, folks, is a automated 
um, advertising platform. That's what this is. Uh, they, uh, it's advertising technology that they can spread. You know, big advertisers will go onto that. They spread it right across social media, video advertising, all of the above. Uh, this equity, the low for the year is $39. The high is 72 uh, This baby went public, I believe. Let me see when this... Yeah, this went public in September of 2016 at $18. And uh, you talk about a gap higher, man. That is uh, pretty extraordinary. There's no two ways about it. That thing went uh, topside. It's taken out its high. The high we're talking about is $66.66. And uh, they, no doubt, came in with uh, some big numbers out here. Um, you know, everything is getting automated. Uh, bottom line is that they, last year at this uh, quarter, they did 53 million. This year they did uh, 85 million. So big number out there. Inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow. You have, uh, right now, number wise, United Health's putting 19 points into a catapult of 15, Home Depot 15, uh, Verizon 10, taken away from it is 3M6. Uh, uh, what is intriguing out here today is that uh, when you take a look at the uh, Trump is going to be talking about drug prices at one o'clock. But guess what? Um, these health stocks aren't worrying about it. Whatever, whatever, whatever is going to be said out there, you can see that United Health uh, is one of the leaders out there. Let's go look at Pfizer. Pfizer. Bottom line is up 30 cents. All the biotechs, they basically uh, are up today. So whatever's going to be said out there, these uh, health stocks, biotechs, they're not, uh, it's not facing them uh, a bit. Some of the other, oh, let's go take a look at uh, Bitcoin. So if you haven't test drove the Nadex platform, great time to do it. Uh, what you're going to see out here today is that, so the spreads on Bitcoin start on Monday morning, 8 o'clock. They finish Thursday, uh, Friday at 3 o'clock. And so we'll get, we, you get some good movement with Bitcoin today. Bitcoin uh, went from a price point of 91.28 last night. You're at 85.55. Had hit monster resistance trying to get into that $10 level. Um, you're breaking uh, the consolidation that Bitcoin's been in since April 23rd. So uh, this is going to be game. Uh, and that's, that game here. Um, is basically 8,000 first. 8,000 uh, is the high that was generated out here on the 12th of April. And then what's game is the, the bottom is consolidation. It's quite a consolidation. 6,500 is the low, 9,500 is the high. So you're talking about uh, good sized numbers inside that Bitcoin market. Uh, notes and bonds. Uh, bottom line, they are still trying to get inside, well, the 10-year note is trying to get inside the higher range. Right now, the 10-year is at uh, 2.970. Uh, we've been teetering back and forth between the 2.9 to 3 percent mark for so, quite some time right now. We go take a look at the, let's go take a look at the NQs and see how those babies are, are set, setting up. So the NQs, the low of today when the NQs was 69.37. That just got a nice little pop. We're almost flat in, inside the NQs. NQs right now, they're coming into the downdraft from this morning. We'll see what kind of. Uh, the volume's not that bad. So the NQs are going to try to get into this, uh, what, uh, si I, actually it already did, 69.70. That, that just might have been the bounce right there on the NQs. Stay right there, folks. We're coming back. We have the Dow Industrials right now up 97. NASDAQ is up 4. S&Ps are up 9. We're coming right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. 
platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. So we have the Dow Industrials right now up by 98. You get the NASDAQ uh, up three. S&Ps are up nine. Let's go uh, inside that uh, commodity market, and we're going to take a look at oil. So oil, no doubt, has been on a uh, run, uh, a big run. Right now, you're at $71.06. And uh, this baby just uh, still has volume up here, too, which is really intriguing. Um, you know, this thing, it looks like 75 is wide opened. Uh, if we go to the XLE, what you'll see, uh, the XLE continues to get some, get some juice in it. Uh, that is a confirmed ABC structure on the way up. Uh, that uh, got some real good juice in it on Wednesday. If we do take a look at this on a weekly basis now, what you're going to see uh, is you're going to see that big expansion of volume on the weekly. Uh, last week and the prior week, we did 73 million shares. We're up at 88 million right now. Uh, this bottom line is that uh, this wants to get up into this uh, $78.38. So it's going to be pretty wild watching that shake out. Let's go over and we're going to take a look at now. This is the disaster. We were talking about the um, NDX 100. So semantic. Semantic uh, bottom line uh, not only came down, but just came down dramatically. You don't see this too often. That you, a big equity loses 30 percent of its um, stock uh, price in one day. So let's see what these guys are saying. Yeah, so it tumbles the most. Oh, in 17 years. Oh, this is interesting. Let's see what they're saying. So Symantec uh, come down 35% after the company projected uh, profit, revenue and profit in the current quarter will fall short. Um, and, okay, and disclosed an internal investigation into unspecified matter. Oh, you know what they're going to worry? They're going to worry about the... Uh, this is going to be interesting. About as soon as you hear that, it's like, okay, do we have something wrong with the books? The world's number one maker of cybersecurity software said fiscal first quarter profit will be 31 to 35 cents compared to an estimate of 41. Revenue will be 1.1 billion to 1.17 billion. Uh, the projection was 1.9. Uh, yeah, here. Oh, well, let's see what they say. Okay, Symantec said. Also said the audit committee of its board is investigating concerns raised by a former employee. Uh, in the company's financial results and guidance. Oh, there it is. It's about the books. Unreal. Um, 
Symantec said it had alerted the U.S. Security and Exchange Commission that a result of the investigation, it would delay the filing of its annual report for fiscal year of March 30th. They're going to get grabbed. That's what's going on. Unbelievable. Okay. Um, yeah, that's, this is, so what, more than likely what you have here, if you can read into this a little, they more than likely had an employee, turned around, told them they were cooking the books, bottom line. Now they got an investigation, and guess what? That's going to be, and you can see <laughs> uh, what ends up happening when you basically just get a whiff of that. And it looks they, that uh, if they had to report it, uh, there's more than just a whiff of that. So huge problem inside Symantec. Um, and so let me just look at some, so the numbers on Symantec, whether we can believe them or not, this has been going down anyway. This is interesting. So parts the, this is where this gets really wild, that you can see when people start to kick cook in the books. Because Symantec did $6.7 billion in 2014. They only planned, they only did $4.8 billion um, 2018. And that's, their, so they're on a fiscal year. They're already in their 2019 year. And they don't plan on doing much more than that. So bottom line is, they already had problems. And uh, when you have uh, some problems like that, uh, that can turn into a big problem if you're not growing and your expenses uh, still are growing. Let's go take a look at the uh, GDX out here. So we have Friday. We get the metals market. Metals caught a bid out here yesterday. Uh, the GDX also caught the bid, which is pretty cool. We did 40 million shares yesterday. Now, the swing point the GDX is going into is $23.30. That is from the 18th. Um, we hit 23.06 today. And... This is going to be interesting. So we're going to have we're going to have a decent day out here. 4.5 million for the GDX is actually pretty good volume for right now. So we'll see how this shakes out. Now it, it, it has not got the price spread yet, but we'll see uh, how that shakes out as we're coming through the trading day. XAU also caught the bid out here yesterday. Let's see exactly how much volume we got inside the XAU. So the XAU, we did 27 million. You're going at the 24, that's not bad. The swing point is 37, which is higher. Okay, so that's good. We had the expansion of volume there. The gold bugs index. Gold bugs index, are, uh, we're at 182.33. So that thing's going sideways. We did 19 million. Versus 19, okay, and the swing's 28. Well, we got, we get the, you get the expansion of volume. The real kicker here is going to be, uh, do we get some follow through? If we go over to uh, an Eco Eagle AEM, we take a look at an Eco Eagle. That's uh, getting closer to the 14th of uh, February, and that's where these things want to go. Forty-six dollars, that is. That had a nice expansion of volume yesterday. Uh, we have, let's see, 220. Yeah, this is good. We have 227,000 right now. We did 1.1 million. So that, that'll do another million shares out here today, which is a good indication. Uh, Pan American Silver, that baby took off topside big, and uh, it's up again today. So Pan American gapped higher yesterday. We closed on a Wednesday at $16.27, traded up to 18.30. You're at 18.37, and what you're going to see here, now this is going to be one of the really sweet ones to keep your eye on, and this is why. So... When we take a look, at, we've been in this long, long consolidation, and what you're going to see, uh, Pan American Silver broke the downtrend with conviction. The downtrend that I'm talking about on, in this particular stock would be February of 2017. That high is $21.29. You can see it just took it apart, real easy, price spread, volume, everything. Now, when you take this on a much larger basis, what you're going to see, which is really cool, is that... We are, uh, on a monthly basis, we also took out the whole downtrend that started in August of 2016. Okay, so we've been in almost a two-year consolidation. Now, this is what the cool thing is. This very well could be an ABC structure on the way up. We'll find out when we get to this $21.59. On a monthly basis, if you take that out with more than 63 million shares, guess what? You get a beauty of an ABC up because the A point on this is 530. Your B point up here is 21. So we're talking uh, basically 
and uh, the C point is uh, approximately uh, 13 bucks. So you're talking $29, and $29 will get you up into the supply line where we came down in 2011. So it's a it's a big number to keep your eye on because what does happen, folks, when equities and sectors are moving, what you'll see is that first you'll see a couple stocks in the sector start moving. Um, and if you have multiple ABC structures that start, uh, then you got the much more evidence that the whole sector is going to go and uh, one after the other they start doing ABC structures on the way up or on the way down. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now up 102. NASDAQ is up 2. S&Ps are up 10. Coming right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank bank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TF and you'll find market insights under trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We had the uh, Dow Industrials uh, finish up 90. Uh, the Dow Industrials are up 95. NASDAQ is uh, flat. S&Ps are up by 9.5. Uh, we go over and we take a look at the uh, financials, folks. So all the financials are sitting right at the downdraft. And so this is going to be really intriguing watching this out because first if we take a look at the uh, XLF, 
what you're going to see, you're basically, you're basically sitting right at ice. Ice would be set up at $28.45. We're at $28.36 right now. And what you're doing is that on the daily as well as the weekly, you're coming into the downdraft from February 5th, the week of February 5th, as well as the week of the 22nd of March. And we take this and we put this on the daily. So that your dailies are set up like this. Your dailies are set up that you're coming into 85 million as well as uh, 147 million. Yesterday, we did 41 million. Today, I suspect we'll do around the same thing. Now, watch this on the, uh, that's on the uh, daily. On the weekly, what's happening is that it's anemic. I mean, you are coming into 317 million and we've done 176. So uh, that is saying, yeah, great, you'll do 200 million, but 200 million is going into 317 as well as 694. So that's a third of the volume coming into that area. It's going to be really hard to basically take that out. Now, the number to keep your eye on at the end of today is this. It's $28.24. Because if you close underneath that, that's going to be a failure also. The reason being is that that's the, the highs of the past five, uh, well, it's even better, the past seven weeks. We've been at the same place. The past seven weeks, that's the high. If you can't hold that, we're not going to get that volume. You're not going to get 309 million out here. Um, let me just make sure of that. One second. 30. Oh, you could get 309 million. Yeah, you could get 309 million. We'll see where that shakes out. You actually could get 309 million. Uh, JP Morgan, you're going to see all the financials, they're all set up the same way. JP Morgan set up right coming into the gap. The gap we're talking about, JP Morgan 114.21, you're at 114.33. We go over to Berkshire, Halther, BRK, same type of setup inside Berkshire. Berkshire uh, is at 201, your high out here is uh, 216. And Berkshire is weak, actually, real weak. Let's get over and we'll take a look at uh, a couple of the uh, uh, marijuana stocks. Well, one of them, uh, Cronus. So what is, let's see what Cronus does. Okay, so Cronus invests in medical marijuana producing companies. Um, they offer their services in Canada. Uh, they have seven employees. They're in Toronto. The low for the year is a dollar. The high is $11. And look at, yeah, man, so, <laughs> these companies, when you look at these companies, the expansion uh, of bread is pretty dramatic. We'll see whether they get it. They are looking to do, so last year they did 4.1 million. Uh, they are looking to do 33 million in 2008 and 132 million in 2009. And we pull this back. So the low for the year is a dollar. The high is 1190. This came back. Oh, look at this. I see what you're looking at. Yeah. So this came right back into its strength from the 10th of April, which is 526. We go topside with 3.5 million. You come back with 1.4. You're up today. Let's just say it go right back to 794, so that's not a bad deal. Let me put this on a weekly. Oh, it's nice on a weekly, too. Interesting. Yeah, so uh, bottom line is that, um, yeah, this came back to... The bottom of where it had strength, trem tremendously light of volume. Bottom line is that, yeah, you get a consolidation. And that consolidation, 794, is the top side, and that's pretty cool. Uh, let's go look at uh, Canopy. So Canopy Growth, I've been waiting to buy this forever. Um, Canopy's at 29.84. Now this baby is down from 43. What I'm waiting for is this $20 level. 20 to 23. See, at 20 and 23, they both have high volume lows out here. And Canopy, uh, number-wise, like, go like this. So uh, Canopy is the largest, uh, basically, supplier right now, legal supplier. <laughs> yeah. Um, they're also in Canada. They do not do business in the United States, and they won't until uh, it's legal. So. Canopy last year, 39 million in revenue. This year, they're on course, and they are on course to do 99 million. Look at that, unbelievable. So their acceleration is pretty, you can see this acceleration. First quarter, they did 15 million. Second quarter, 17. Last quarter, 21. Next year, though, they're looking to do 368. And what that's all about, folks, is that what's going to happen in Canada is that. Uh, Bottom line is that whether it's going to be, 
I, I suspect it won't be June right now, but it's going to be uh, July, August. It's going to be legal everywhere in Canada, recreational. Uh, ACB, let me pull up ACB, what this is. ACB, this is Aurora. These are competitors. So the lows are $1.89, the highs $15.20. This company here, yeah, they, they did $18 million last year. They're looking at $63 million this year, and then next year $300 million. Oh, my, this is, <laughs> those numbers, man, are mind-blowing. Now, see, what's cool here with this one, this is why I'm still going to wait on that weed. So what you have here is this. This one came down just about to these high volume lows. 711 is the high volume lows, 695. Came to 775. I expect it's still gonna get down there. And more than likely, you know it's probably happening too. Um, and now, so check this out. This also has a high volume high at 1488. You know, so this, this is a monster consolidation. 711 is the low. 1488's the high, and I suspect when these things take off, um, yes, thank you, Mike, we appreciate it. <laughs> uh, when these things take off, what you're going to see, uh, it's going to have to do with once they get it all straightened out up in the provinces of Canada. Uh, no, it's perfect, man. I'm glad you brought it up. <laughs> uh, in, the, in the province of Canada, as to uh, when this whole regulation wiles will will be in and you know they basically open up the spigot uh, up in Canada. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. You got the uh, S&P, we're teetering right around the same, the same numbers. Bottom line is that you get a very small tight consolidation out here and uh, uh, we'll see uh, just how this thing uh, shakes out. You know the right thus far you are, at a, you are at a higher high. It doesn't have much juice out here but guess what there's not going to be much that uh, on a Friday that can basically uh, give this, uh, knock this market down. You're going to have Trump uh, speaking at uh, 1, and as I said a little bit earlier, when you do take a look at uh, uh, the stocks, whether inside the Dow Industrials, the, uh, the drug stocks aren't worrying about it. The, uh, let's go see what's going on with Verizon. Verizon's got, uh, let's see if they come out with numbers. Verizon got a nice pop out here this morning. It's up $1.56. Trading $48. We'll be right back with Verizon, folks. 877-927-6648. Dow is up 104. NASDAQ is up 2. S&Ps are up 10. Come right back. Does the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the X. SAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining.
combining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. Are you an options trader that's looking for that extra edge when placing trades? David White will be hosting a webinar on May 16th, which is the Wednesday leading up to Options Expiration Friday in May, where he'll discuss in depth the methodology he uses for trading options near expiration, including swing trading setups and expiration day trading scenarios. Subscribers to each of Dave's newsletters, Path of Least Resistance and The Technology Insider, gain access to this 60 minute webinar, which will be archived if you cannot attend live. Dave has had some great option trades recently for his subscribers. See for yourself the trading methodology he uses when trading options by signing up today for either of his newsletters and we'll see you Wednesday, May 16th at 5 p.m. for option trading near expiration, analyzing swing trades and expiration day scenarios. For all the details and to sign up today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Uh, so Verizon, uh, VZ folks, uh, they didn't come up with their numbers. Bottom line is that uh, Verizon's trading up uh, buck fifty right now. Uh, we are at forty-eight seventy, and this was just an upgrade uh, from uh, here. I'll read the upgrade. I just want to look at this in a monthly first. So this has been a long consolidation. Look at how long this has been going on. This has been, this has been consolidation since twenty thirteen. You know, they do pay, I think, a 5% dividend, though, a 4.85% dividend. So uh, this is uh, J.P. Morgan upgraded it, uh, looking for a $58 price point, uh, talking all about 5G crystallization. Uh, Verizon's near-term potential for fixed broadband offering will help drive early cash flow on its 5G investments. Uh, that was a J.P. Morgan analyst. Uh, bottom line, he moved the stock. Um, the Ma Bell, just the opposite. Uh, you know, Ma Bell is up 32 cents, but Ma Bell, uh, uh, when you take a look at Ma Bell, what you're going to see out here, uh, this gets intriguing, actually. Um, well, actually, let me pull this back. Maybe this is the same. No, Ma Bell is, is down from a price point of $43. You're at 32. Uh, they canned their, uh, who did they can this morning? They canned the guy. Okay, so AT&T said hiring, uh, uh, Trump's personal lawyer, Michael Cohen, as a consultant, was a big mistake, and that the senior executive who hire him is retiring. They canned him this morning, folks. That's the bottom line. Uh, they are claiming that, uh, this is his quote, this is the CEO's quote, uh, that uh, Cohen, according, yeah, according to the memo from, uh, that Cohen said he was going to do consulting work for a few, few select uh, companies, and uh, uh, that he would uh, basically get uh, uh, Trump's opinion <laughs> uh, on the administration, uh, that, that he wanted his opinion on uh, Trump and his administration. Bottom line is that they gave him 50000 a month for a year. Yeah, sick. Um, bottom line, he's, he's done. Um, that's going to get intriguing. Just, just in general, Novartis is the one that Novartis end up giving them over a, over a million bucks. Uh, so we'll, we'll see where the rest of that uh, going to shake out. Uh, shareholder wise, uh, no, no one went south in Novartis yet. Uh, Ma Bell, they, they, they went south pretty quickly. Uh, the uh, thirty-year bond. Let's go take a look at the thirty-year. So what we had out here this week, you had a bunch of uh, bond auctions. Bottom line, they came off without a hitch. Um, USM8. So what you still have out here, you still have plenty of uh, folks that want to buy bonds versus the supply that is out here. And we've been pushing, this is some of the biggest supply that we've had in years. Uh, that being said, guess what? You know, this 30-year hasn't broken the swing low of uh, February. You know, the 10-year broke it. Um, 
came up uh, and is teetering. That's that's the real bottom line with the with the ten year. Thirty year though still uh, still hanging tough. If we go to the uh, TLT, the twenty year ETF plus, this gets intriguing because this actually uh, is higher, is pushing with higher. Uh, volume. Yesterday we had some big volume, 7 million shares coming into it, pushing into a swing with 8.2. That swing is 119.56. You've had 119.36. This 20-year this TLT, uh, 122 is game. And uh, that's on the, let's put this on a weekly. So that was, uh, that was on the daily basis. On a weekly basis, you can see a concisive uh, rejection uh, of lower price. And the bottom line is that we'll see the longer that it stays inside the 116.80 area, the higher probability is that it's just going to go, uh, going to go topside. And that's just all about are there more buyers or are there more sellers? Let's go over and take a look at the uh, gambling business. So the gambling business, folks, uh, bottom line is that I think what's happening here. Yeah. So let's see. Okay, so here's the, this is the, this is the big deal. Okay, so I believe there's something, let me see if it's, I don't know if it's in front of the Supreme Court or where it's in front of. MGM Tropicana seizes are among the casino operators that stand to seize uh, and get in the $150 billion, the $150 billion sports business and if New Jersey wins a, its case at the Supreme Court. Yeah, so there's a case at the Supreme Court right now. Uh, a law barring states from authorizing sports betting may be deemed unconstitutional, and they expect that uh, the ruling will come either this month or at the beginning of next month. And so this is how this shakes out. Man, this will be a trip. Uh, Tropicana seizes uh, in New Jersey may share in the $150 billion national sports betting industry if the, if the Supreme Court strikes down a law that bars 46 states from legalizing it. This could mean a 60% uh, revenue boost for the $240 billion gambling industry. Uh, Las Vegas Sands, uh, Penn National have properties in the states that pass laws regulating this activity. Uh, Red Rock may benefit if the bill is proposed, uh, if a bill proposed in California becomes law. Uh, you know what's going to be interesting here is that uh, I believe this is where, let me go look at LVS. I wondered how that works. Because if you get all the casinos, and because as soon as if it goes through in New Jersey, I'm sure sports gambling, or sports books, will be happening in every state. And of course, in Vegas, uh, the sports book is a monster. There's there's no two ways about that. So you get Las Vegas Sands trading at seven six seventy eight. That doesn't have any juice. Let's go see when W Y N N. When is it one ninety seven? Put this back. Yeah, wind's still stronger than Las Vegas Sands, tremendously so, too, when I look at the volume. Yeah, wind is, wants to go to 202. And I think it said that MGM, okay, so that's MGM no, China. Red Rock Resorts. Let's look at Red Rock. R R R. So look at R R R. This would help them in California. There's a law in California that they're trying to get through, and simultaneously, if the Supreme Court says, "Yeah, states can do it," this this one here would be a big one because California, no doubt, is like a their own country. There's that many people, and Red Rock. Uh, yeah, the Red Rock has a high volume, high at 35 bucks right now. You're trading 33. Uh, 88. So that, that that little baby is game out there too. Market wise, out here it looks like uh, we're going to get sideways markets. That's how the, that's how this seems to be shaking out. It's coming right. It's it's you're coming right into uh, heavy resistance. That's the bottom line. So if we stay up here a long period of time, meaning a uh, week, week and a half, uh, we get option expiration uh, coming next Friday. We get our man, Mr. Dave White, he's going to be doing a great workshop for everyone out here. That workshop is going to be next Wednesday. Option expiration, near expiration trading with our man, Mr. Dave White, May 16th, 5 to 6 o'clock. Uh, the way you come in this, just come over to our website at TFNN. You can take advantage of either one of his newsletters or both of his newsletters. They both come, back, come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Uh, Dave is going to be going 
analyzing swing trades and option expiration day trading scenario. So bottom line is it's an executable uh, workshop, which is really cool, folks. Check it out on the front page of TFNN. We're coming right back. Stay right there. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m. Followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com, educating investors. Learn how to trade options with Swim Lessons. Brought to you by TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. We have the Dow Industrials right now up 114. You get the Nasdaq up 10. S&Ps are up 12. You get the futures uh, trying to get into its high right now, folks, it's, uh, which is the uh, 27, uh, 31, 25 area. We're right at it. And it's going to be intriguing because on the 10 minute, we're four minutes into it. On the 10 minute, what we have is that uh, we're coming into 44,000 contracts. Uh, thus far, you've done 11,000. Now, it doesn't mean you can't get the pop in a big way uh, within the next six minutes, but this looks to me like it's going to be the test of that high because that high, I'll bring this on Tiger TV so you can see how this shakes out. That high does have volume on it, that first spike up here. We'll bring this closer. You're going to see that spike, that spike high right there has 41,000. And so you got uh, five minutes to turn around and do... You're at 11,000. That's going to be, that's, oh, I, I'd like to see that baby hit it uh, in the next few minutes. It has to hit it for the test. That's the bottom line, uh, especially in these 10-minute bars. 
Uh, if it stays right underneath it and you see volume kind of expand, that's just building cars to get up into that level. The uh, King Dollar, let's go over to King Dollar. Of course, Friday's uh, big, big number in the uh, uh, metals business, King Dollar. Sideways move. I kind of like how this is trading out, uh, actually, because if we get a sideways move in it, uh, that's normally uh, the uh, halfway move of a move on the way down, which is pretty cool. Uh, gold, we take a look at the gold contract. Gold contract out here trading at a price point of 1322.70. Uh, you have the volume behind it. We've done 174,000. That means we're going to do about 274. That's what we needed. Uh, we did get back inside. And we want to stay back. This is crucial to stay back inside, particularly uh, because we got back inside there with volume and conviction this week. 1315 is the number as we come into the close. Stay right there, folks. The swim lessons coming up next. And then, of course, we got our man Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon. Dow's up 107, Nasdaq's up 9, SP's up 12. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com.